Hello, my friends. Okay, the alarm clock is going off trying to wake up the imaging channel. Unfortunately, there's still quite a few of them hitting the snooze button because they still think they have time to dream about how great it was yesterday in hopes that it will return tomorrow. Guess what? It woke up. It's a whole different day. I want to congratulate both Staples and Dex Imaging on a fantastic innovative diversification, bringing the pull economy and the push economy together in our industry. This is a huge, huge deal. And for those that don't understand what I just said about the pull economy and the push economy, you got to really start reading up on it because it is the future. It is the future for most end users. They live in the pull economy. We still need a little bit of that push economy to help them along the way. And this is a fantastic merger and a great opportunity for the imaging channel. But folks, I want to talk a little bit about the imaging channel today. I want to talk about all those people. A while back, I did a cake, a retirement party cake. And I said, you know what? We got to give this piece of this cake to all those that keep saying, well, by the time anything really disruptive happens, I'll be retired. Well, guess what? On Friday, something really big and disruptive happened. So all the people that have been saying, nothing's gonna happen until I retire, will you please take a piece of that digital cake I sent out to you a couple months ago and go ahead and get the hell out of the way? And you know, I, I, I'm talking to some senior executives in the industry and they'll tell me things like, well, you know, real, real change will never happen because we got a lot of leadership that just won't do it. Well, you know what? They need to get repurposed into another job because the imaging channel is gonna get extremely, extremely innovative. It's gonna demand that it get extremely innovative. And even if I said right now, oh, Amazon might buy Staples, end up with Dex too, people would say, oh my God, that'll never happen. We gotta stop saying that'll never happen. We gotta look in different places so we can find different things. And at the end of the day, we gotta fix ourselves. I wrote a couple articles about the Dex and Staples scenario, the merger, and there's a little some comments in there about how people are going to get laid off and you know they're going to focus on shareholders instead of you know the customers well first of all right now staples doesn't have any shareholders they're a privately owned company just like dex so but folks you know we're going to see more and more of these acquisitions happen and as the acquirer buys up a mega dealer or someone within the imaging channel and then they try to fix things and they try to make it more efficient, guess what? There's gonna be some human capital losses. But I don't think it's the acquirer's fault. I think it's the lackadaisical attitude that the imaging channel has had for the last 10 years. We are completely overstaffed in service and everybody in the industry knows this. I've talked a lot about A4. We've seen data that shows that A4 only takes one call to A3, three calls at the same volume. We've seen data that shows manufacturers selling more and more and more A4 products. Well, A3s are in decline, but we're doing nothing about our staffing. It's a train wreck, right, ready to happen. I'm convinced that if we repurpose 10 to 15% of every technician in the entire imaging channel, the imaging channel would actually give better service. And here's why they give better service, because they wouldn't be able to show up to the call and not fix it the first time. Our first call effectiveness would have to be damn near 100% because we've got another call we've got to go to. When we showed up to the call, guess what we'd have to have? We'd have to have the right parts because we wouldn't have the luxury to jump in our car and run back to the office so we could talk to the parts guy, maybe get a burger on the way. We'd have to have defined territory so we could be disciplined in how we're going to do our service. That's what would happen if we repurposed 10 or 15% of the service technicians in the imaging channel. Do we really need to follow Word documents that talk about we're going to have so many supervisors for so many technicians and so many VPS services for so many supervisors? We need to reevaluate all that stuff. And my friends at BEI Services are doing that now. But folks, we can't start blaming organizations that want to come in here and buy some of this distribution when they have to make corrections. We just can't blame the acquirer because we didn't do what we should have done. Because investments are made for an ROI. Investments aren't made to have a bunch of big old daycare centers around the country, and let people do whatever they want. There has to be accountability. Our industry is getting more and more commoditized and we have to pay attention to that. The folks at Dex Imaging surely did, figured out a way to capitalize on it. 
But we can't. We can't continue to not talk about things that are threats. We can't continue to ignore what we need to do to be innovative. And we can't keep pushing away those that say things that we don't want to hear. And we have to welcome new thoughts. We have to welcome new opportunities. We need to look in new places. So again, I just want to congratulate my friends at Dex Imaging and my friends at Staples. I think there's a lot of really exciting times ahead for those two organizations, and I think it's times as exciting ahead for the entire imaging channel if they paid attention to what just happened. So we heard the alarm clock go off. A lot of us woke up. Some of us are going to get a piece of that digital retirement cake and get the hell out of the way. And some of us are going to get repurposed that just don't want to fit in or make some changes. All these things are going to happen over the next 90, 120 days. I hope so anyway, because then the imaging channel could go back to its glory days. It'll look a hell of a lot different than it did in 1970, but it still can have some glory days. My friend, I'll end my time with this. Status quo is the killer of all that will be invented. Don't get stuck in status quo.